Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique missile launcher known as Party Starter. Now to acquire this weapon all we need to do is come to the friendly town of Good Neighbor. On the Pip-Boy map, Good Neighbor can be found in the center of downtown Boston, found to the northeast of Diamond City. Once in Good Neighbor we need to come to the shop, kill or be killed, guns, guns, guns. Once here speak to the Assaultron Cleo. After having a lovely chat with her, click on Barter. Head across to weapons and down in P, we will find the unique missile launcher party starter. And of course the price of this weapon will vary depending on your character's charisma level. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. As always, before looking at the weapon's base stats, I have reduced all of my character's special attribute stats to one. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the weapon. So let's mod it out in the first slot. We're going to be going with a quad barrel. This makes it a semi-automatic missile launcher, increases the magazine size to four, plus 20% faster fire rate, plus 35% VATS cost, and plus 3% sight time. In the second slot, we're going to be going with the targeting computer. This adds one time zoom, which means absolutely nothing. The missiles now lock onto targets and increases the VATS cost by 15%. And finally, we're going to be going with the stabilizer, which gives minus one times range, minus 50% spread, and minus 15% recoil. Those last two, of course, being positive changes. So once Party Starter has been modded out how I just did, Party Starter has a base explosive damage of 170. It uses the missile as ammunition. Its fire rate is 30. Its range is 191. Its accuracy is 68. Its weight is 49 and its value is 5085 caps. Up the top we can see party starter plus 50% damage against humans. Oh my. Alrighty, so where to get started? Well, perhaps at the party. So as we know, party starter is a unique missile launcher. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest, I'd never used a missile launcher in Fallout 4 until getting this weapon, and I was not remotely disappointed. This thing's so fun, it's like you're having a party. Now, one of the things that makes this weapon so incredibly fun is the targeting computer modification. When looking down sights, a red diamond will come above the targeted enemy's head. This is the enemy that the rocket is locked onto. And then, no matter which way you point party starter, fire off a missile, and it will make its way directly to the locked on target. For example, Now isn't that something? You can also continue looking down sights, locking onto a target, killing that target, and then while still looking down sights, it will lock onto the next target nearby. Provided of course they are generally centered on the screen. So you can stand in one spot and target all the enemies you need to. Locking onto them, taking them out, then rinse and repeat until you reach a point in which all of your foes have fallen. And of course, don't forget we now have the quad barrel. So yeah, we can stand there and keep shooting, at least four missiles anyway. But for a heavy weapon like this, that shoots an explosive projectile, an ammunition capacity of four is really something. So purely in terms of practicality, this thing is insanely useful. Probably the biggest downside is blast radius. If you shoot anything too close to yourself or accidentally hit something that's right in front of you instead of the enemy, causing an explosion near you will damage you. But provided you think about your shots before doing them, the party starter is excellent. So let's talk about its insane damage potential. As we know, it has a base explosive damage of 170. Party Starter's damage can be increased by multiple perks. This includes the Heavy Gunner perk and the Demolition Expert perk. So its damage can be doubled twice, then on top of that, provided you don't have a companion, you can increase the damage another 25% with the Lone Wanderer perk, and then of course another 15% with the Bloody Mess perk. So I was able to get Party Starter's damage from its base 170 explosive damage up to 819 explosive damage. Don't forget, if you crouch down and do a sneak shot, you're gonna be doing around 2,000 damage, which is a lot, especially considering you have an ammunition capacity of four, which means you can fire off four shots pretty much within less than half of a second of each other. Tie into that the locking onto targets, I guarantee that no matter what you're trying to take out, you will take it out with party starter. Provided, of course, you have these perks and you have modded it out the way I have. And not only can it shoot four shots off quickly, but reloading it takes no more than two seconds, which for a weapon that deals such huge damage with such a huge ammunition capacity for a heavy weapon like this, a reloading time of around two seconds is insane. Now again, the downside is that you can hit yourself with the blast radius, but on the much more positive side of the same card, you will wreck enemies in a large area of the blast radius. For example, taking out a huge pack of ghouls. <laughs> Thank you. 
easy peasy. You fire into a room, you'll probably kill everything in it, even if you don't hit any of them. And also, inside of vats, when you fire off a shot and it misses the target, if it hits anything within about 20 yards of them, it will explode and still kill them anyway. Now on top of all of this, as if Party Starter was not insane enough, its legendary effect, 50% extra damage against humans. This is of course pure insanity, as humans are not at all the most heavily armoured enemies you will be coming across. So already they stand some of the lowest chances against the missiles fired, but now, hey, why not, let's do an extra 50% damage. Luckily however, most of the enemies we do come across in the wasteland are humans. So this legendary effect is actually super effective, I mean quite literally, it's super effective against the humans. So you have no excuses for letting anyone escape when you wield the party starter. Now given the rarity of missiles as ammunition, you're not going to be replacing your spray and pray with the party starter, but I do suggest that you carry it on you to quite literally get the party started and let your enemies know that you are in the building. As we now know, this weapon packs one hell of a punch, something every party needs. Not only will it raise the roof, it will blow off the roof. Party starter will turn any boring event into an absolute blast. Use your foot as ammunition and you'll get a kiss because of mistletoe. And here it is in action to start the party, we have Party Starter. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel and this has been my guide for the unique missile launcher in Fallout 4 known as Party Starter. I do hope that you found this video helpful, if you did, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Fallout 4 guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides that I upload. If you thoroughly enjoy me never replying to your messages, please feel free to follow me on Twitter. You'll get plenty of it there. The link can be found in the description. And with all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure partying with you and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.